Raptors! Hi! Wow, it is great to be here. I'm so happy to be opening this show. Um, I do have to warn you guys just right off the bat, this is a, a little disclaimer. I am wearing Axe deodorant, so you want to be careful. The, the commercials are true, man. If, if, if you step, I know, huh? <laughs> Um, if you step within a three-foot radius, we will be making love. Um, don't get so excited, sir. <laughs> now, I, I'm really careful with it, though. I just put like one swipe per arm, you know? You don't want to go over. I just want one girl. I don't want a bunch. And um, I don't want to be sitting at home relaxing and have a bunch of girls burst through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah! <laughs> uh, I don't know. What is that noise? Can we get that turned down or something? Have anyone that can turn this down or something? It's like really bugging me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> wow. I know, huh? Come on. All right. Um, you know, I did have a, a tough time this morning. I was putting my deodorant on, and you guys ever have it where you have your deodorant and there's like a third of it left and it breaks off and hits the ground and explodes? Well, it didn't actually explode. I'm not using Al-Qaeda brand or something, but um, it hit the ground and went boosh and shattered all over the ground. And then I'm like on my hands and knees gathering up this white powder like a cocaine addict. And I had to wad it up in this usable ball with random hairs and urine stains stick it, it, it's not me it's not me it's my kids i've got i have two boys and they don't know how to use it yet they just they, I, I think they're peeing before they even go into the bathroom and shh, 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 <laughs> somewhere. Uh, uh, kids, uh, anybody have single parents out here yeah. yeah single parents good hooray for failed relationships <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> single parent too. It, it happens. It's alright. I, I have um, two boys and a girl. Um, <laughs> my, my, my middle child, the 10 year old, he reminds me of me. He's like the closest thing to what I was when he was, when I was his age. And I have so much fun talking to him because <laughs> he comes up with the, the weirdest questions, these hard hitting questions that really make you think things like, hey daddy, how come Chewbacca doesn't wear pants? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> Why doesn't Chewbacca wear pants? You'd think it was discussed at some point. I mean, I'm sure it's fine on his home planet of Kashyyyk, but out there in the galaxy, the galaxy's that way in case you're wondering, <laughs> out there fraternizing with other humanoids, you gotta put some pants on. It's just how it is. Could you imagine Chewbacca dropping a deuce, by the way? <laughs> and the Millennium Falcon just lighting it up, just like, <laughs> uh, uh, the carnage that would be left behind. Yeah, he's got to have a bidet or something, and then with all that fur back there, at least like a spitting wipe, <laughs> something. Uh, and you know what he does when he's done? He comes back out and he sits his bare ass right down in the co-pilot seat next to Han Solo. <laughs> Han Solo doesn't say anything either. You think he'd be like, damn Chewbacca, at least put a towel down or something. <laughs> Walk around putting your bare ass all over my stuff. But you know what, he doesn't say anything. And you know why? Because Chewbacca is seven feet tall and he carries a purse and a crossbow <laughs> And no pants! <laughs> he's, he's about to fucking snap at any moment. <laughs> Don't want to mess with Chewbacca. Uh, now my kid came up to me the other day, he was all excited. He goes, Daddy, Daddy, if you could have any superpower, what superpower would you have? I'd have the power of super speed. Super speed would be awesome. What would you have? And I'm going, I don't know. Uh, invisibility? No, no, it would be teleportation. Yeah, teleportation's the thing. And he goes, wow, that's cool, why? And in my head, I'm thinking, well, whatever makes it easiest for me to rob a bank, that's <laughs> But you know, I don't want my kid to know that I'm a, a criminal mastermind at heart, so I made up something. I was like, well, that way, I could sneak into any bakery, and I could sample all their stuff, and no one would know. <laughs> yeah, he was so disappointed. <laughs> Wow, that's really lame, Dad. What do you mean it's lame? Because 
If I had super speed, do you realize how fast I could rob a bank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there was ever any doubt that he was my child, it was cleared up right there. <laughs> we spent the next hour just talking about how we would rob banks with you. What superpower would be best to rob a bank with? <laughs> Turns out it's the ability to stop time, if you didn't know that. Yeah, you, you can stop time, you go in there, take the, find the, the master key to all the safe deposit boxes. There's no rush. Clear the whole place out. And right when you're leaving, you grab a pair of scissors, cut off everybody's clothes. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Then when you leave, you restore time and everyone's just standing around like, where'd all the money go? Why are we all naked? <laughs> Let's not mention this to anybody. <laughs> See, it's a perfect crime. Uh, I don't know, I, I've been single lately, so I've, I've been dieting and exercising, and it's been making me think, maybe I'd really rather have the power of elasticity, like uh, Mr. Fantastic and his mentally challenged cousin, Plastic Man. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, that way I wouldn't have to work so hard. I'd contort my body into that kind of shape. I'd be like, Shh. Unless you're a chubby chaser, then I'd be like, Shh, ooh. <laughs> no, but normally I'd be like, geez, and my legs would be, mm -mm, and my ha ha would be, mm -mm. <laughs> that, that would be my superpower. It would be like a tele, I would be Mr. Extendo. <laughs> <laughs> Stop crying with it, I'd lasso people. Stop, criminal. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. You will stay here until the cops arrive. If there's ever a time to stand with your hands on your hips, with your pants down, it would be that. That would be the, that would be the moment. Any, any single parents out there with a daughter? Yes. How about single fathers with a daughter? <sighs> that is rough, man. I, I have a daughter, she's five. People don't realize how hard it is to be a single father with a daughter. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just the hair alone, I don't know what to do with that. She's always coming up to me with these little rubber bands with butterflies on them. She's like, Daddy, can you put my hair in a braid? No. <laughs> you can't put your hair in a braid. She can't say her R's yet. It's so adorable. It's like one of those things that you never want it to change, but you, you kind of hope she's not doing it when she's 15. <laughs> I, I can't do any. I don't know how she does it. When I pick her up from her mom, she's all clean and pristine and sparkly. She's got a ponytail, and it's so tight that her face is pulled. She looks like a, a white Asian kid with a permanent smile. <laughs> uh, then when I bring her back, Looks like we've been camping in the Amazon for a week. Her <laughs> hair's like, oh, with branches sticking out of it. Uh, seven different layers of chocolate stuck to her face. I, I don't know what the deal is with kids and chocolate. I've, I've never actually seen them eat it. I, I give it to them, they scamper off somewhere like it's some treasure. You know they're in the corner just like, yes, chocolate! Uh, ends up in the weirdest places. I'm pretty sure that was chocolate. It got on my hand, so I'm, I'm just saying. I I don't know. One of the worst things is when I'm out in public and my daughter looks up to me and she goes, Daddy, I gotta go potty. Uh, you know, she's five. She knows the difference between the men's room and the ladies' room. And if she's going in the men's room, she won't go. So it's always this big covert operation. I, I gotta sneak her in, I gotta uh, divert her attention from the signs, and as soon as I get her in, I gotta point out that baby changing station. That's the way to go. Because you get that baby changing station and, and go, oh look, that's where the babies change their diapers, and then you push her in the door and shut it really quick. Because if she swivels her head and sees those urinals, the mission is over. It's not gonna happen. So um, we were at the movies, and she looked at me, and she said, hey, Daddy, I gotta go potty. You got three kids, that's 75 bucks right there, taking a movie. Dude, you see that spit? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so I got her in the bathroom, did the whole thing. Ten minutes goes by, nothing's happened. So I knock on the door, baby, you okay? You need some help in there? She comes out over here. Like, no, daddy, I'm okay. <laughs> Fuck. I called my boss real quick. I was like, yeah, I'm not coming into work Monday. Turns out my kid is like a, a superhero or a wizard or something. Yeah, she can teleport. I just saw it. One side of the room to the other. 
Yeah, me and my kid are going to take her to the bank later. Uh, um, and then I noticed that her knees are all wet. She didn't teleport. She crawled from one side to the other. Uh, and there was a dude in the middle stall. Oh, he sees me on Twitter. Oh, shouldn't try the nachos at the movie theater. And he sees my kid come crawling by. Oh. I don't know. I, I got her up. I, I put her up. I cleaned her all up. And I noticed there's all these dudes standing around. What's with all these guys? You know what? My little angel, she locked every door from one side to the other. Uh, which is hilarious, but I'm not going to stick around and see what happens. So, so I took her, I bring her back to the theater right when we're about to go in. She goes, but daddy, wait, I got to go potty. What do you mean? We were just in there for 15 minutes. What happened? She goes, but daddy, that's the boys' bathroom. <sighs> yeah. So guys, that's my advice to you. If you take your daughter out, um, just bring a, a fanny pack and a dress and a wig and save all the hassle. <laughs> all right, that's it for me, guys. Thanks a lot. Yeah!